AI is the players, the participants, the things within it, the things you're watching and then looking at. But data is the game. Data is the field, the ball. If you have a bad ball, the game doesn't work. So AI is actually the players, and data is what makes them able to play the game. I'm a golfer, so I play golf, and one of the things when you look at data and AI, especially around data, like when you, as a golfer, you're looking at a lot of YouTube videos, you're taking a lot of lessons, you're going to the range to hit some balls and practice, and that's all data. But when you look at AI, AI is like a caddy. I would describe it as doubles tennis. It's hard to separate the two, and they complement each other. Probably the best way to put it is football. And the football field's 100 yards, and a team, the offense gets down to the one yard line. That last one yard to score the touchdown is where data and AI come together. The AI has facilitated that. It's that last one yard that scores a touchdown. I would think of it as AI is a Formula One car, where data is the fuel. So no matter how technologically advanced that Formula One car is, it's not gonna get very far or go very fast with high quality fuel or data. If you think about a soccer coach, you know, data, or all the player is having, they all have different characteristics. Some play with the left foot, right foot, some are good at defending, some are good at scoring. Uh, that's really the data, the material he has to work with. AI is actually the interactions and the value they will create on the field, the superior experience that will help them win the game. The, the relationship with data and AI, basketball really comes to mind. When you think about the passing and the teamwork that you have to really work together to win a basketball game, that's really how data and AI collaborate with one another. You're passing the information back and forth, and once you can get it right, you have a much better chance of success.